Now, Urameshi is Meta Knight a from... Wi-Fi warrior um, from Smash 4 as well. Yeah. I remember I... hearing that name quite a bit. I remember him being the Meta Knight from Vegas. Uh, and yeah, he was a Wi-Fi warrior. Yeah, the Meta Knight from Vegas Wi-Fi warrior. But it's he's like... going up against Guapo, who is a Kirby player. Yeah. Uh, oh, I'm seeing Skittles and Hunter Box over here, though, so I don't... Yeah, 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 I'm just talking about the future. What what we have in store right now? We have Skittles and Hungry Box, though. I wonder who Hungry Box is playing. I kind of want to say Puff, but I, I, <laughs> I'm pretty sure. Like, I'm actually, I, I, I have, I'm following him on the stream. I think he's. Living, I'll tell you guys right now. Um, I was a bet, man. I would say, I would say Puff. I was gonna say like I'm. I would say Puff. I think I'm pretty sure he's like streaming himself. So I'll tell you guys all right now. Yeah, he already locked in Puff. Yeah, he's live. Yes, yeah, yeah, he locked in Puff. Skittles is a Toon Link. Yes. Let's see, who did Skittles have to beat to get here? Let's see. Top 24. Skittles had to overcome Skew. Oh, who beat Mariguas? Which oh, shoot. was Mariguas got second last week? Yes, he did. He he got second, unfortunately, losing to Lumbre. So Mariguas is doing a loser's run right now. It's one one also, so advancing. Yeah, I mean, he's doing pretty well. Um, one of those players, like I mentioned last week, uh, 64 player, one of the best out there. And it's really good to see like other players from 64 melee also give ultimate try, especially in these trying times. It's always fun to try new things, right, guys? No, new things suck. <laughs> I was gonna say, man, it's fun to try a remake. That was kind of you? Question mark? Almost. It was a remake. What are you talking about? Hey, man, it was new to me. <laughs> you never played the original? I did play the original. It was. I actually was not a. I was a fan of the original, but I wasn't like. A super fan of the original. I thought uh, Final Fantasy IX was like my personal favorite. I also loved eight. I don't know why Final Fantasy eight and nine resonated with me a lot. It's not that I didn't like seven. It's just those two games I really enjoyed. Let's see eight and nine. I remember eight being trash. Uh, hey. Nine, is my <laughs> nine is my favorite. Yeah, as all time favorite. Zidane is the man. The monkey man yeah zidane is one of my favorite characters of all time plus the characters honestly it's a little, um i go on about those characters we'll just go on about these two characters here it is going to be skittles versus puff look if i'm a historian i will definitely tell you right now characters like link destroy puff for like breakfast he just does really well against puff as a floaty but i mean this isn't just any puff this is the puff in melee so we'll see what skittles can do against here i mean honestly the one thing that Puff does struggle against in this matchup would be honestly projectiles, but not only projectiles, it's the fact that like Link is able to contest with Puff with forward air, nair, and have good lasting hitboxes. But also if Link is a little bit too overzealous, like Puff can definitely just decimate Link for being off stage a little bit too much. Yeah, I mean it's really gonna come down to that off stage game too, because right now, like this is the moment where Hbox is going to want to go in, okay, getting the bomb save, resetting the recovery. And HBox even had like the correct, the correct idea like where to be in position to edge guard Skittles. A dash attack. Ooh, was not yeah. expecting that. Nice holding onto the bomb. Bomb has a six second time. Ooh, that was clear. That was careless. He went for a downer, and that definitely would have been like an arrest or an up tilt or a combo for Hunger Box. So he doesn't want to give him too much order. Yep. Woo! Great DI. Nothing less than we can expect from one of the greatest out there in melee, of course. Maybe. Oh, that was DI melee fox up air. You, you're, I mean, you can definitely DI this game. Yeah. No excuses. <laughs> but a quick boot to puff, and that's gonna be the first stock. Now look at this pressure. Even I, I am so surprised. Like Skittles was comfortable staying that close to Hungry Box. Not only that, I think the situation too. Like I mentioned, it just with like Link. You have to really be careful when you're sacrificing stage control just for a boomerang toss because he lost all of the stage and put him at a prime position to get killed by the dash attack, so... Yeah, I'm all for fancy footwork, but sometimes you just gotta put some room between you and your opponent. Especially yeah. if you got a lot of projectiles. Great up B out of shield, converting to an up air, easy damage. 
And 73%, no rage on Skittles. Okay, a little bit of rage on Skittles. Hey, don't you hate when those platforms just mess you up? <laughs> <laughs> really good. He's going for Nair a lot. Bombs, I really do like, but also he's got to get used to going for confirms off of Bomb into a forward air, or like we saw earlier, oh, good tech. Can you get the recovery? Yeah. Links up B is the long. I think it's actually, yeah, it's actually the highest out of all the links in this game. I mean, typically, whenever you're challenging like the up B from Link, you're trying to hit him on top, right? Yeah. I feel like it's gonna be difficult for for Puff. Yeah, she can. Oh, unfortunate. Boomerang to arrow to death. Yeah, I like this aggression we're seeing from Hunger Box. He's kind of making sure, like, you know what? I can't give Link too much respect. I'm losing, I'm taking way too respect. much damage. Yeah, if I give him the time of the day to actually toss out fire arrow, boomerang, a bomb, anything, he's just gonna take that nice. He goes. He tries to go for that last second situation. We can challenge it with the nair, but that's the thing here is that because Link's sword, I would say dagger in this case, uh, is disjointed. It's really difficult for Puff. Yeah, and it just scoops up Puff like it's just a horrible situ like a horrible move to go against because it just scoops him up, takes take Puff with you, knock him away, so they don't get anything. Yeah. Okay, throwing those mega punches out. I would have more Young Link data for you guys, but Kairos is like the Young Link pro alongside Zan, and I haven't spoken to them in a minute. Oh, that was really good to go for the up air, but that was really, that was a close call with the down air. I felt like that might have been a missing point there earlier. Good stuff nonetheless, though. Yeah, Young Link taking game one. You know, now I'm thinking about it, I feel like it's been a minute since we've seen Young Links. That's what I'm saying. Like, I have, like, I, I, I seen, I only know Kairos and Zan when he does decide to go Young Link. And I, I haven't know that seen... there's a lot of top players that have Young Links. They just never come out in tournament anymore. I feel like it's really hard for me to say what the shortcoming is of the character in my case, but sometimes what I do feel like it might be sometimes at times it is kill power simply because the one thing that young link does struggle is overall like knockback in terms of kill power yes he's getting to you you know he's throwing a lot of projectiles and stuff at you but the one thing that he has to do is he has to confirm into like a forward air or get a hard nair or confirm into an up air or a down air he has to confirm into one of those moves so to speak just to get the stock from what i've noticed but i mean i don't want to tell you guys this is the definite reason why Young Link is not being played at the high levels. Like, no, he, he's really, really good. It's just, he, from what I've seen, he has to confirm into an actual hit. And that does give your opponent a second chance of life, you know, so to speak, in a way. And yeah. Really. Puff, she can get around, I'm seeing from Kairos, yeah, Puff can get around, you know, a lot of Young Link things. So as soon as Puff sees, you know, I'm at 120, 130, I can just, you know, jump around for as much as possible, wait for you to be back into a corner or be overzealous and then punish you from there. And of course, thank you for the 100 bits, real in teal. We appreciate all the support. You know what? Hopefully next week you get to show off your Dr. Mario. That'd be yeah. awesome. Pac-Man is indeed silly. He's the silliest character in this roster. Pac-Man is silly. <laughs> um, I think he's one of the silliest characters. I think the most... I think the character that just outright upsets me is Luigi. <laughs> he just outright upsets me. Like, I don't understand. Actually, Luigi and Mario, like, the designs of those two characters, like, it seems like they can legitimately, like, from what I've seen in this game for the past year, and almost year and a half, I would say, um, is anywhere you are on the stage, it doesn't matter. They can grab you and, and just put you to death. It doesn't matter. <laughs> Yeah. Larry had a really good video about the things he hates about each character in Ultimate. Definitely check it out on his uh, YouTube, Larry Lur. Yeah, no, you mentioned it. I don't think Larry meant, uh, entered tonight, did he? No, he I don't think so. Week, but, mm, gotta hit up Larry Lur, Mr. Lur. Up okay. there? Yep. Yep, yeah, up there. Easy conversions, easy damage. Really, that's where you got it. What? You parried that? You crazy. <laughs> you are crazy, Skittles. <laughs> I mean, parrying is kind of like what separates, you know, 
player skill at times. If you're able to parry, your opponent will usually be wary of going for the same move yet again and again because of the small advantage you do get from parrying. Oh, I thought you were going to say something like separates the boys from the men because Scales is playing a young Link that is that is not a man. See, I was trying to avoid that. I, I, <laughs> I, I knew where you were going, man. I had the meta in my mind. <laughs> Well, great edge guarding from Hungry Bucks. Put Skittles far enough off stage and with no access to a second jump. So that even the the hero spin from from Young Link wasn't able to to make it back to the stage. Whoa! Ooh, I couldn't see so I, I kinda got a little bit of the like the play by play on Hungry Box stream. It's I feel like he tried to actually angle his shield before he get hit by the last hit of up up air. I'm sorry, up smash. Cause he was gonna get shield book. I mean, I think at that point you just go for parry. You just have to, because even if you have like the smallest shield, your parry uh, parry area is still gonna be the same as if you had full shield. So yeah. Good on him to try to go for the grab out out of the shield though. But like we like we've all learned the way how things are in past ultimate. I don't know the frame data for Puff's grab out of shield, but the meta dictates you know usually aerials out of shield are really better. And I would have loved to have seen Hunger Bob kind of walk away from this situation. He would have sacrificed a lot against Skittles in terms of pressure, but it's better to be avoiding that situation. That would have been really poor. Ooh. Ooh, that's okay, good. I think Skittles was looking for an air dodge there because he wanted like a much bigger punish. He even went for like an empty hop almost. You see him like rise up right in Hungry Box's area and then commit to the down air. Hungry Box is in hit stun too, so he easily could have gone for like an up B or something else. But he was definitely looking for it. There? Oh. Ooh, and dropping down too low again, but is he going to be able to make it back? Just yeah. enough space. Reach him with the arms. Yeah. It's also important to note that Young Link yeah, only gets dude. a second up B, yeah. not another jump at all. So he can go for an up special once more, but not a jump. Okay, here we go. Hungry Box trying to clean up this stock. See, back air on the shield. Oh, must have been expecting a roll. Yeah, I mean, usually that's pretty accurate to a lot of players. You're in the corner, you want to get out as soon as possible. That's true. That is definitely the Wi Fi roll. Okay, up tilt. Oh, here we go again. More tricks coming from Skittles. Must be feeling himself. Yeah, it's the hits them. That, oh, yeah, I was gonna say the shield's getting smaller, and unfortunately, it's gonna start poking. He's gotta angle the shield just to avoid that. This might be a four air. No, nice. A little bit of a mix of that with an empty hop. I felt like that was a miss input when he went for the back air, but hey, man, only Skittles knows what he's doing at this opportunity. That's right. There's another down tilt. Probably looking for for an up air or four air, but. Guess what? Yeah. Nair is enough to clean up this game. Skittle's gonna move on 2-0 over Hungrybox. Yeah, I mean, this kind of goes back to what I was saying earlier. Like, 